An island nation tucked at the bottom of the world may have some lessons for the U.S. about the role of women in public life. We celebrate our diversity. Meet New Zealand's third female prime minister, Jacinda Ardern. You are the youngest female world leader of any nation. For now. <laughs> For now, yes. The Prime Minister is also pregnant and will be only the second elected head of state in history to give birth. The first was Benazir Bhutto in Pakistan. That was 30 years ago. But she's the first to take a six-week maternity leave. I don't want to ever give the impression that um, I'm some kind of Wonder Woman, that women should be expected to do everything because I am. I'm not doing everything. Clark and I are really excited. The baby's father, professional fisherman and broadcaster Clark Gayford, will be a stay-at-home dad. The couple is not married. We haven't, sounds terrible, because we're very committed to each other. It's just not something we've really gotten around to. We haven't correctly sequenced, perhaps. Um, but no one's really, no one really takes particular issue with that. Except probably my, my grandmother, probably, beyond the grave probably would take issue with that. <laughs> would you tell her if you thought she was wrong about something? Yeah, you yeah. Oh, yeah, would. absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's good to have people like that in your life. I tell him when he's wrong about things too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is never darling. I, yeah. <laughs> her humor and her candor are part of her success with voters. You know that the Wall Street Journal tweeted that you were Donald Trump of New Zealand when it came to immigration. Respond that infuriated that. me. It infuriated me. We are uh, a nation built on immigration. We're campaigning to double our refugee quota. So you're not building a wall? Absolutely not. And unlike in the U.S. these days, even some of the people who didn't vote for her are rooting for her, part of what they call Jacinda mania. Later this week, the seven and a half months pregnant prime minister will meet Queen Elizabeth, who is officially the head of state in New Zealand. It could get awkward. Headlines during Ardern's campaign suggested she wanted to ditch the Queen. You may have some splaining to do when you get there. Oh, look, no doubt. Her response has always been, these are matters for New Zealand. She says she won't push it, at least not now. Leading the country, having a baby, and taking on the Queen might be too much even for her. Cynthia McFadden, NBC News, Auckland, New Zealand. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.